Hi everyone, my name is Kelly Edwards and welcome to your yoga class today. This sequence that I have for you is going to be a uh, power yoga class that's leading up to dolphin pose or forearm stand. So we are going to be working on inverting today. Um, if inversions are not a part of your practice, there's definitely going to be things within this class that you can keep coming back to and working on to build your strength to eventually go upside down. So it's okay if you don't get your feet up, uh, if you don't lift up into forearm stand, not a big deal. You can definitely keep working the strength to one day get there. So for our practice today, you can have uh, two blocks, a strap, and possibly a blanket if you would like to help cushion your knees on the parts that will be coming to our knees. Okay. So we're going to get started lying on our backs. If you wanted to have a block or a blanket underneath your head, you can go ahead and do that. And then choosing if you would like your legs to be extended out. Uh, that's a wonderful option to begin, or you can have the knees bent, feet planted to the outside edges of your mat, and drop your knees together in what's called knock knees. So knock knees is a great way to start subtly opening up the hamstrings, which are going to be a big part of our focus today. So though you might not feel much in our knock knee position, uh, what's going on anatomically helps to open the hamstrings here. And it also settles any tension in your lower spine. So choose what option is best for you with the legs. Arms can open out wide. Go ahead and close your eyes. Soften your face and begin to notice your breath. And just feel into everything that you are today. So what sort of emotions are you feeling or have you felt today? Is there a general theme of your thoughts? Notice how you feel physically, what areas feel good, what areas feel tired, weak, or tense. And just welcome and accept, invite all the feelings. And as you're noticing the areas that feel spacious and the areas that feel tight, please use this feedback as just that, feedback information. So try not to judge yourself, try not to get down on yourself or feeling the way that you do. Instead, understand that the areas that feel good, free, spacious, those can be the areas that maybe you push yourself a little bit more, areas that you can strengthen. Then the areas that are feeling closed off, maybe those are the areas that you stay softer in. So we're tuning into our body as a way to make sure we're moving kindly with ourselves. We're not checking in as a way to judge or get frustrated. And especially today when we invert, it's, it's not about getting upside down. It's that journey that we're taking to strengthen, to get the feedback, to research more about ourselves. So create your intention. Make sure you're being kind, compassionate. Make sure you're working with the body that you have here in this moment, not the one you wish you had or the one you had 10 years ago. And in the next two breaths, repeat your intention one more time to yourself. Really solidify it for your practice.
You may keep your eyes closed. Go ahead and bring your knees into your heart for a supine child's pose. And so the more that you squeeze the knees in, the more that you'll lift your tailbone up and you could feel a nice stretch in your lower back here. Just a good way to lengthen the spine. You can gently rock side to side or move your knees around in circles to massage out this space. Good. Bring your feet back down. Feet go to the edges of the mat. Knees are pointing up. And as you exhale, drop your knees to the left, windshield wipers. Inhale, bring your knees back up to center. And then exhale, drop them over to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the side. And just keep moving like this with your breath. And I want you to pay attention as the knees drop to the left to that right knee. And press your right knee down and away from you a bit more to feel the stretch through the hip flexor and quad. The same thing as the knees drop over to the right. Pay a bit more attention to the left, pressing down and away. And let's do one more to each side. Good, a little bit different now. Let your knees drop over to the left and we'll stay in that windshield wiper. And now reach your right arm up alongside your ear. And think of reaching fingertips far away from the shoulder, shoulder reaching far away from your hip. So this whole right side is lengthening. Take two more breaths. Right arm can soften. Inhale, knees come up. Exhale, drop your knees down to the right. Stay in that windshield wiper. Reach the left arm up. Really crawl fingers away from shoulder, shoulder away from hip. Two more breath in this left side. Soften that left arm, bring the knees back up to center. If you need to drop a little bit from side to side for movement again, you can. And then either drop yourself over to the right or you can roll up and down the length of your spine a few times. And we'll come up and around to tabletop pose, hands and knees. And so this is where, if you wanted, you can have your blanket underneath your knee joints. Hands will be under shoulders. And take a moment in tabletop to just check in. And I'm noticing a bit of tension in my lower back on the left side and in that left hip as well. So I'm going to start by gently rocking my hips from side to side. Maybe you're feeling more of the tension in your shoulders. So you can do just a little cat and cows here. These are actually called scapula push-ups because you're just moving your shoulder blades. Okay, so either moving hips or working with the shoulders. Just two more breaths. And then we'll start with some more traditional cat and cow. So as you inhale, dropping heart, lifting chin and tail. As you exhale, round, tucking the tailbone, look towards the navel. Inhale, dropping, cow pose. Exhale, press earth away, cat. Let's take a few more breaths here. Again, make sure that you're not just pushing and forcing. You're working with your body and how you're feeling here, even in a power class. Let's take one more breath. Come back to neutral. 
then drop your hips back to your heels. Keep your knees pointing forward so you're in a, a variation of child's pose. Hands can crawl away, forehead can drop down to the earth. One more breath. Now on your next inhale, press down into the knees and shins, round your back. Think cat pose, back to tabletop. And then as you exhale, drop your heart to go into cow and drag your hips back to your heels. Again, inhale, rounding cat, coming to tabletop. Exhale, cow, dragging back to child's. Let's do three more here. Follow that flow of the breath. Really try to feel fluid and wave-like in the spine. One more breath. Now inhale, round up cat to tabletop, tabletop, tuck your toes under, <laughs> that's a tongue twister, <laughs> and lift up and back, downward facing dog as you exhale. Five breath here, you can pedal out the knees, sway the hips, take the feet as wide as the mat. Really pay attention to the back body here, so hamstrings, lower spine. Those guys are going to be key as we start to invert ourselves. Two more breath. Next inhale, looking towards the hands. And exhale, fold yourself up. Inhaling halfway. Exhale, release. Inhale, chair pose, bend the knees, drop the hips, reach the arms. Exhale, press into the feet to rise and release the arms by your side. Okay, you may grab your blocks, have them at the top of your mat and find your mountain pose there as well. So good posture, good alignment in your mountain, knees are soft. Ribs and navel hugging in. Shoulders go up, back, and down. And knees unlocked. Okay. Next inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling halfway. Exhale, left foot will go back for high lunge. Your fingers can stay down or on your inhale, reach up to the sky. Soften that left knee. Try to lift the heel over the ball of the foot on that left side. Right knee stays over the ankle. Two more breath here. Now next inhale, straighten that right leg. And as you exhale, fold your upper body down. Once hands get to blocks or earth, start to press that left heel to the back of the mat, rooting the foot. Let your head and neck drop. Knees should be unlocked. One more breath here. Then inhale, lunge back into the right knee. High lunge, reach the arms up. As you exhale, left foot steps forward, chair pose at the top. Inhale, exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, back to plank and vinyasa. Five breath in your dog. While you're here, you can lift that left leg up. Bend the knee, stacking the hips. Get a beautiful stretch across the front of the pelvis. Bringing the left foot down. You can do the same on the uh, right side, other side. Right foot down. Let's take one more breath in dog. 
Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhaling halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale, chair pose. And exhale, rising mountain. Other side, inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, right foot back, high lunge. Fingers can stay down or rise up as you take your next in breath. Right knee softens. Try to lift and point that back heel up to the sky even more. Two more breaths. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, fold yourself down. Think pyramid. Once hands are planted, root the right heel. Two more breaths. Inhale, bend into left knee, rise up, high lunge. Exhale, step forward, Ooh, chair pose. <laughs> Take an inhale here. Exhale to rise. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plank and vinyasa. Five breath in dog, pedaling the knees, moving the hips. We're taking that three-legged dog with the hip opener. Two more breath in your dog. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, root down, rise, and release. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway. Exhale, left foot back, high lunge. Inhale, rising up. Sink in and hold for two breaths. Inhale, right leg straightens. Exhale, fold yourself down. Sink that left heel. Get a nice stretch in the backs of the legs. Now inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, reach your right arm up to the sky, twisting. Maybe the hand comes to your low back instead. Pull your right outer hip back in space. Exhale, right hand comes down, lunge into the right knee, inhale, rise up, high lunge. Exhale, left foot steps forward, chair pose. Inhale here, exhale, fold over the legs. Inhaling halfway, and exhale back to plank. We will hold plank here. So shoulders over wrists, uh, ribs and navel hugging in, soften your knees a bit. And now bring your right forearm down, your left forearm down. Step on your right hand, step on your left hand. <laughs> so left forearm down, right forearm down, left hand up, right hand up. Two more. Right elbow, left elbow, right hand, left hand. So plank walks, last time, left elbow, right elbow, left hand right hand hold plank inhale and exhale vinyasa five breath in your dog Next inhale, looking forward. 
Exhale, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhaling halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, rise. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, right foot back, high lunge. Inhale, rising up. Stay for two breaths. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, fold the upper body down. Get that right heel to the earth. Hold here and breathe. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, left arm reaches up to the sky. Exhaling, left hand down. Inhale, bend into front knee, reach the arms, high lunge. And exhale, step forward, chair pose, yay. Another inhale here, exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway, exhale back to plank and holding plank. So good alignment here. We're gonna do those walkouts again or plank walks again, okay? So two um, on each side. So right elbow down, left elbow down, right hand up, left hand up, left elbow, right elbow, left hand, right hand. So do one more like that. Plank, inhale, exhale, vinyasa. Five, breath in, dog. However you want to spend it, maybe coming down to child's, that's okay, or those hip openers still. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhaling, halfway. Exhale, release. Inhale, chair. Exhale, to rise. Next inhale, arms reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway. Exhale, left foot back, high lunge. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, sink in. Inhale, straighten the right leg. And exhale, fold yourself down. Drop the left heel. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, right arm up, twisting, pull that right hip back in space. Exhale, right hand comes down, little different this time. As we inhale, lunge into the right knee, arms reach up. Exhale, straighten the right leg and dive down. Again, inhale, high lunge. Exhale, pyramid. So that back heel is staying up now. Let's do one more, challenging our balance a bit. The strength in the core and the low back. Good, inhale, high lunge. This time, exhale, step forward, chair. Inhale here, exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, back to plank. Hold plank. Set it up properly with your alignment. And then we're gonna come down to our forearms. Now stay on the forearms and lift your right foot up. 
Hold for two more breaths. Right foot down, lift the left foot. Two breath. Left foot down, <laughs> walk back up onto your hands, plank pose, inhale. Exhale, vinyasa. Five breath in dog. Next inhale, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat, inhaling halfway, exhale to fold, inhale chair, exhale to rise, other side, inhale arms reach, exhale fold, inhale halfway, exhale right foot back, High lunge, inhale to rise up, exhale sinking in, inhale straighten the left leg, and exhale fold over for pyramid, back heel down. Inhale lifting halfway, and exhale left arm reaching up for the twist. Exhale, release. So now some more movement. Inhale, lunge into left knee. Reach the arms. High lunge. Exhale, straighten the front leg and fold. Keep toning the belly. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, straighten and fold. Let's do one more. Inhale, high lunge. This time, step forward, chair. Take another inhalation. And exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, back to plank. And we're holding our plank pose. Come down to forearms. Keep your ribs and navel hugging up, but drop your hips a little bit more. And now we're gonna tap the knees. So you're just bending the knees, sort of pedaling out here. Keep toning your belly. Tap, 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 tap. Five, four, three, two, one. Forearm plank. Walk back up onto your hands, normal plank inhale. Exhale, vinyasa. This time, rest back in child's pose. Five deep breaths. Come up to tabletop pose, hands and knees. And we're gonna work something called the grapefruit juicer. Okay. So I'll show you guys from the front first. So when I'm in tabletop, to feel that squeezing of the inner arms and to feel the lats turning on here, I'm gonna bend the elbows out to the side. Now squeeze and point my elbows back towards the knees. So again, I'm out to the side like a push-up. Wrap the elbows back, squeezing elbows towards one another. And then I re-straighten my arms. And my belly is engaged the whole time. And so what I feel is these muscles that hug along the shoulder blade. 
it's like I've got the grapefruit right here that I'm squeezing down. Okay, so squeezed right there. <laughs> what that's teaching us is a broadness across the back body and it creates this nice expansion across the back. So when we start to lift up into our dolphin and in our inversions, we're creating sort of like a basket to hold the body weight against with the shoulder blades. So from behind, if I were to do that action with the grapefruit juicer, you see how it's strengthening and broadening across my back. Then I would re-straighten the arms and right here feels super, super strong. Okay. That's what we're looking for when we go upside down. Okay. So let's go into tabletop and practice that a few times, pulling ribs and navel up, bend elbows out to the side like you're doing a push-up, wrap the elbows back pointing towards your knees and re-straighten the arms. Again, ribs and navel hugging up. Let's do it one more time. Try to keep the belly contained. Elbows out, wrap back, re-straighten. Okay, go ahead and sit back. Hips onto your heels for a moment. Roll your shoulders. You can drop your ears from side to side. Rolling out and releasing your neck. Let's come up into Downward Facing Dog. And even in our dog, we want a sense of that grapefruit juicer, okay? So here, toning belly, elbows bend out, wrap back, and re-straighten. Now this next technique is gonna be a really great way to strengthen the triceps and the shoulders. So make sure that you're listening to your body and take this to the intensity that you can, that your body can, okay? So with that grapefruit action in the arms, I'm gonna start to bend my elbows, keep toning my belly, and try to drop my forearms down to the ground into dolphin. <laughs> and then at the same time, press into the hands, lift the elbows, come back up into dog. Okay. So the action that's happening as the elbows are bending is a squeezing in towards one another, okay? So I'm not bending my elbows out to the side. I'm squeezing them in like they're trying to touch as I come down, squeezing together as I come up, okay? So let's do that about three more times. Uh, if you're not getting elbows all the way to the ground, that's okay. Go to your depth and then come back up into dog, all right? So three more. <clears throat> Get that grapefruit juicer turned on and then keep toning the belly, start to bend, drop the elbows, press down, come back up. Two more. You should feel so strong <laughs> the whole entire time. And that strength you feel as you bring the elbows down, that's what we wanna find in dolphin. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Let's bring our knees down. Rest back in a child's. Your hands can be on your thighs. If you need to shake the hands or the wrists, you can do that as well. Okay, so now we're going to practice uh, forearm plank first. Then we can walk our feet in to start going up into dolphin. And then we'll practice some inversions, reaching one foot, maybe getting the opposite foot up off of the ground and holding and making our way down. Now, if you don't feel comfortable doing it in the middle of the room, feel free to come to a wall and you can be facing the wall in our forearm stand, walking your feet up like so. Okay. So you can use the wall for help. Otherwise, you can challenge yourself in the middle of the room. Okay, let's go into forearm plank first. So this is step one to work into dolphin and inversions. So on your knees, bring your forearms down. So you're in a forearm tabletop. And then go ahead and clasp, grab opposite elbows. And when we hold it onto opposite elbows, this tells us what our shoulder distance is. So elbows are held. I can reopen my forearms. And now I'm in proper alignment. 
Some of us like forearms straight ahead. Others like prayer pose. So whatever works best for you, just do what you're comfortable with. Okay. For forearm plank, I'm going to keep the forearms parallel. Step the feet back. Now we tend to keep our hips lifted to keep this easier for the lower abdominals. So drop your hips, push your heart forward. And let's hold for five breaths. Keep pressing earth away with the elbows. Think of that grapefruit juicer squeezing. Shoulders broad across the back. Belly toned. One more breath. Knees come down. Hips back to your heels. You can rest in a child's pose. All right, so please stay with forearm plank if that felt like enough work for you. Otherwise, we're now going to walk the feet in for dolphin. So holding opposite elbows again for shoulder alignment. Arms can open. This time now I'm going to bring my palms together. I like prayer hands, just a personal preference. <laughs> Okay, press the earth away with the elbows. Start to get that wrapping action of the shoulder blades. So shoulders should feel broad across the back. Walk the feet out. Find that forearm plank. Again, hips drop, heart forward. Now tone the belly, soften your knees. Start to walk one foot in at a time, lifting your hips up over your shoulders. Heels do not have to come down to the ground. What's important here is as the hips rise, you press the earth away more with the elbows and forearms. All right, toning the belly. Let's hold here for three more breaths. Feet can walk out. Let's bring knees down. And again, resting back, child's pose or sitting on your knees. Now, as you're taking a few more moments to rest, I'm going to talk through some prop options as we continue building this. So if you have a tendency to splay the elbows open, I want you to loop up your strap. It should be about shoulder distance. Okay. Strap will go above the elbows, when I reach my arms out, I want them to be shoulder distance. Okay, so this is a little bit large. I'm gonna go there, yeah, that feels about better. Okay, so this is to stop your elbows from splaying open. We don't want the strap to be necessarily tight like this because we want to have that energy squeezing in of the elbows trying to meet and touch. So the strap can help you, but then you want to try to find some slack and ease as you rise up with that energy pulling in towards the midline. Okay. If uh, you don't have a strap, you may also use a block and just hold it in the L shape of your hands like so. Press the fingers into the block, and this is going to remind you to keep pulling the elbows towards one another too. Okay. So block or strap can be used. We're going to go up again, and this time, if you're walking into dolphin, lifting one leg up at a time and trying to see what it feels like to put more weight onto the shoulders and the elbows. Okay, so again, as we're lifting weight up, we want to be rooting down even more for that rise. Okay, let's set ourselves up. We're at shoulder distance. Forearms can be parallel or prayer. Pull your ribs and navel up, press the elbows down, and then you can either step back into forearm plank or lift the knees and the hips and walk in closer for your dolphin. So press earth away, pull elbows towards one another, tone the belly, and now let's lift our left leg up. And try to reach the foot up to the sky like your car keys are on the ceiling or there's a million dollars on the ceiling that you're trying to reach. Hold for one more breath. Left foot comes down. We're going to go right into the other side. Right leg can reach. Reach, reach, reach. Hold two more breaths. 
right foot comes down. Slowly drop the knees and rest. So we're going to go about two more rounds. This time, maybe seeing what it feels like to lift that bottom foot up. I don't really love hopping <laughs> um, just because you're using luck more than you are being mindful to get up into it. So if you feel like you want to explore trying to come up more into forearm stand, you can have a block that will go underneath your bottom foot. <clears throat> so you can be lifting the earth up so that you don't have to travel as much to get that bottom foot up, okay? So the block is taking away a couple inches of work that would be needed from the shoulders, from the core. So you can have a block underneath that back foot or again at the wall, walking up and down the wall. Okay. So let's just explore. <laughs> Please try to have fun with this and just play. Don't push yourself too much. Inversions bring out that inner child. So it should be fun stuff that we're doing here. Okay. So let's go. Make sure elbows are shoulder distance. Press into the earth. Round up through the, um, or pull up in the ribs and the navel. And then lift in the knees and the hips for dolphin. Feet can walk in. Maybe that bottom foot is on a block. And now extend the left leg up to the sky. Tone your belly, press the earth away. Now I like to just kind of roll onto the big toe of that bottom foot and see what that feels like. Putting more energy over my shoulders. And then maybe I can bend the knee and get a little hang time. Okay, so just explore with it. Hold for two more breaths. Come down and rest. All right, one more. <laughs> so we're gonna lift the opposite leg up. Again, this whole time you could have just been working your forearm plank, slowly walking the feet in. That's where we all begin, okay? So it's taken me years to get to this point. Don't expect it to happen in one class. <laughs> but all of these things are great techniques to work on building up to forearm stand. All right, other side, set up. Elbows under shoulders. Pull ribs and navel up. Lift the knees and the hips. Find your dolphin. Feet walk in. Elbows press down. Belly lifts. Right leg comes up. Maybe roll onto that left big toe. And just see what it feels like to shift more weight. And maybe you get to a point where the knee can bend, you can find a little hang time. And right foot down, come on down. All right, now that we've had some time to break down the techniques that are needed, the alignment, we felt what it's like to reach from side to side, I'm gonna give you the option for one more chance to just play. Okay, so we typically have a side that's easier than the other. Uh, my left leg going up is way easier than my right. So let's end on a more positive note maybe. Try one more time, play with it, do your stronger side so that you can end feeling confident. And let's just play for a little bit more. Okay, one last time here. Choose whichever side you want to lift up on the leg. 
And when you're ready, you can just go into it. Hold for three more breaths. And when you're ready, <laughs> coming down. <sighs> and you can slide yourself onto your tummy. Hands can stack, rest your forehead. Wiggle the hips a few times. The glutes, the low back might have been holding a lot of that tension, so release it, let it go. You can bend the knees. Do reverse windshield wipers here. Go ahead and reach your right arm out to the right side. Palm pressing down into the earth. Left hand underneath your shoulder head, bend the left knee and slowly press yourself onto the right shoulder. Slowly roll back onto your tummy. Wiggle the fingers, move around in the wrist. Let's do the same thing to the other side. So left arm reaching out. Bend the right knee. Slowly roll onto the left shoulder. Slowly roll back onto your tummy. Wiggle fingers, move the wrist, bend the elbow. And then we're gonna roll onto our backs. So you can just roll yourself over. Let's cross the right ankle on top of the left knee. Thread the needle, pressing the right knee away from you, gently flex the toes. Then pull the left thigh in. If your lower back was feeling this a bit more, gently rock your hips from side to side. And go ahead and switch sides. And release. Let's hug that right knee into the heart and let the left leg extend long. Open your right arm out to the right side, palm can face up. Use the left hand to help the right knee come across to the left side for a spinal twist. If the knee doesn't make it all the way down to the ground, you can use blocks or pillows underneath. And if this is feeling pretty good, you can extend that right leg out. This will stretch a little bit more into the hips and piriformis here. Stay for three more breaths. 
Bend the right knee if the leg went straight. And bring yourself back up to center. Switch sides. Again, if you want, that left leg can go straight. I don't have the room here, so uh, if you need that extra stretch in the hip, straighten the leg. Three more breaths. And make your way back up. If there's anything else that you feel you need before resting in Shavasana pose, you can take that now. And again, with the work that we did, if you don't want to take traditional Shavasana with the legs extended, then go back to that knock knee position and help to subtly open up the hamstrings and settle the low back. I'm feeling pretty good in those spaces, so I am going to extend. Let your arms open up away from the body. Softly close your eyes. Tuning into your breath. Just check in with the differences of your body, of your mind, of your heart from beginning of class to now. A lot of amazing, strong work was accomplished today. Whether you got the feet up in your inversion fully or not, it doesn't matter. So no matter what level you took it to today, just simply be proud of yourself for getting on your mat. That can sometimes be the hardest part. Just remember that yoga is never something that can be mastered. Yoga is really truly a lifelong journey. So just enjoy the ride. Enjoy what you discover about yourself every time you get on the mat. That's what it should be about. Slowly start to bring your mind back to your body and breath. And allow your breath to go deeper as you slowly start to reawaken your body with little movements through the fingers and the toes. On an inhale, Reach your arms overhead, elongation stretch. Exhale to surrender. Hug your knees in towards your heart and slowly roll down to your right side.
Gently bring yourself up to easy seated pose, keeping your eyes shut if you can. And bring your hands to prayer in front of your heart. A moment of gratitude for your body, your breath, and this practice. Repeat your intention to yourself, promising to take it with you throughout the rest of your day. Bow your brain, sealing everything in. And namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me on your mat today. I hope you feel strong. I hope you've had fun. And please feel free to revisit this class anytime you want to work on the components to getting upside down. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.